Hey folks, today we have something to talk about that I didn't want to have to talk about. Uh, and that's because I'm sitting here finishing up our coverage at Nintendo Prime of all the news that came out in the Nintendo Direct last night. It was a jam-packed Nintendo Direct, trying to make all my plans for our podcast recording we got going on tonight. That's right, folks, the podcast is coming back after, I don't know, what has it been, a month? I don't know, it's been a while. Still, this came across my desk. I instantly got it up on NintendoPrime.net, but I wanted to talk about it some more here on the YouTube channel because it really... It's one of those that really grinds my gears kind of moment from Nintendo. And this is the kind of thing Nintendo does that continues to frustrate consumers. So if you haven't heard yet, Nintendo is discontinuing the NES Classic Edition in North America. Here's exactly what Nintendo had to say to IGN. Throughout April, NOA territories will receive the last shipments of Nintendo Entertainment System NES Classic Edition systems for this year. We encourage anyone interested in obtaining this system to check with retail outlets regarding availability. We understand that it has been difficult for many consumers to find a system, and for that, we apologize. We have paid close attention to consumer feedback, and we greatly appreciate the incredible level of consumer interest and support for this product. NES Classic Edition wasn't intended to be an ongoing, long-term product. However, due to high demand, we did add extra shipments to our original plans. Uh, And then IGN goes on to say that the company has no plans to produce more NES Classic systems for North America. And this announcement includes the discontinuation of the NES Classic Controller. As for third-party accessories, Nintendo said the decision whether or not to continue production of the accessories will be up to each individual manufacturer. Basically, third parties can decide to do whatever they want with NES Classic peripherals. What? Uh, what's going on? What's Nintendo doing? Okay, so they go on to say that the NES Classic Edition has incredible demand. And they understand that it has been difficult for many consumers to find the system. So here's our solution. We're going to stop making it. I What? What is Nintendo doing? I, this is probably the most upset you guys have seen me get on this channel in a long time. Uh, maybe since Satoru Iwata died. And even then, that was a different kind of upset then. I was sad. Today, I am angry. I, I don't understand what Nintendo is thinking here. Now, I get that the NES Classic Edition was probably meant to be a limited uh, holiday run, right? Like, so they've been producing it for an extra few months, but it doesn't feel like they've been producing it for an extra few months. And they even admit that it's been difficult for people to find it. So, I, uh, it's so frustrating that Nintendo does these kind of things. It was frustrating that they under... You know, they didn't understand what the demand was going to be for the system before launch, despite the fact that there was clearly high demand for the system before it ever hit store shelves. How hard is it to gauge consumer interest in a product that people clearly have been demanding from you for years? Oh, it's so frustrating. And I'm not just saying this because I don't have an NES Classic Edition, right? I I didn't plan to buy an NES Classic Edition, uh, at least not now. I was hoping to maybe get one in a few years down the road once I have some of our live streaming stuff going at a regular pace and I'm not just sitting there live streaming Breath of the Wild, which, yes, I know a lot of you folks are wondering, when am I going to live stream Breath of the Wild again? My answer is I don't know. Maybe this weekend. I, I, I don't know right now. But what I do know is that This is an extremely stupid move by Nintendo, and they are literally leaving money on the table. I I don't get it. And this is coming off the fact that we also don't know anything about virtual console games on the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo's brand new system. We don't know what they're doing with virtual console. But whatever they're doing, it's probably not going to be $60 for 30 NES games. 30 of the best NES games. That's not going to happen. And it's not going to be laid out in the same way that this system was. With save states as an example, that was a huge thing. I I just don't know what Nintendo is doing. You know, I'm not saying the NES Classic was perfect. The controller it came with had too short of a cord. And yes, I know there was extensions and there were third-party controllers that had longer cords. But reality is that Nintendo is just irritating consumers what feels like for no reason, right? The only reason I could come up with 
them needing to cancel the NES Classic Edition in North America, mind you. They have not announced cancellation in any other territory. So Europe, you might still be getting the NES Classic Edition. Uh, the uh, the Famicom Classic Edition in Japan is probably still being made. But for some reason in the United States, we need to cancel the, the, the thing that no one's been able to find and buy conveniently at all at any retailer. It's not, oh, we're going to pull it from retailers and sell it on our online store ourselves for future sales. No, it's we're just pulling the unit. I... I'm so frustrated that Nintendo is making this kind of decision. And if anything, the NES Classic Edition's, you know, popularity should drive future plans, right? Like, they should have an SNES Classic Edition in the works. And then, say, four years from now or, or so, they should have the N64 Classic Edition. And, heck, we haven't even gotten to the Game Boy line. There could be a Game Boy Classic Edition. But it makes me not want to buy future classic editions because they're not going to allow the, all the consumers that want it to actually buy the thing, right? And I know some are saying, oh, this supports scalper mentality. I don't think that's what Nintendo's trying to do. I think they're subtly saying, hey, we only meant for this thing to be on sale for a month, but the man was so high, you should just be happy that we you know, made more units over four months. But I'm not happy because they never met consumer demand one time if you're going to just say hey look our plan is to be done with this system uh by the end of summer that's fine that gives you four or five months to flood store shelves with this product before maybe you have the snes classic edition coming out at the end of the year or before you have the big holiday push for switch i i just don't understand it's not like nes classic edition is taking away sales of the nintendo switch you can't find the nintendo switch anywhere either right we're a month and a half out we're a couple weeks away from the next big Nintendo Switch game hitting, and you still cannot find Nintendo Switch units on store shelves. So what is Nintendo doing? That, that's what I don't understand. What are they doing? They're not making any more NES Classic Editions. They couldn't even keep up with the demand of it in the first place. They're not making enough Nintendo Switch units. I just don't get it. Can one of you guys explain this to me? What is Nintendo thinking? Right? I'm working at Nintendo. I have this massively high-selling, probably low-profit margin, but high-selling classic system out here. And we're like, yeah, let's just put that on the chopping block. Heck, they could raise the price of the thing 10 bucks and still sell it, and it would still sell out. Nintendo Switch is a whole nother story, right? Because we're still in that launch window, and you know they've had new units hitting, but it doesn't feel like enough. And it's hard to know. Like consumer demand for the Switch is hard to gauge right now. It's obviously in high demand, but I don't know how many units they're they're putting out there. And we'll find out. You know, on April twenty fourth or twenty seventh or twenty eighth, they they have some sort of investors meeting for the end of the year, end of the fiscal year, and. We'll find out then. Like, maybe they have been sending out a ton of Switch units. Maybe we'll find out they've moved four plus million units, uh, which would be insane. And if that's the case, it's hard for me to complain that the, the Nintendo Switch hasn't been available easily uh, because that's a lot of units. But the NES Classic Edition, I don't even know if there's four million of them, period, that have been made. And it feels like the NES Classic Edition just in the United States could have sold four million. Uh, it's a missed opportunity. I hope Nintendo learns from it. Like, if they do do an SNES Classic Edition someday, I hope they realize you need to put out, like, 3 million of those things at launch in the United States alone. Because um, you're going to sell throughout every single one of those units. If not at launch, you're going to sell them out within a couple months. I, I'm just beyond frustrated. I can't believe Nintendo's doing this. Uh, if you can come up with some logical reason down in the comments on why Nintendo is cutting, you know, cutting the NES Classic at a time it's still in high demand, uh, be my guest and let me know because I don't see any logical reason in this. Uh, even if they want to push Virtual Console this summer, I, I don't know. I can't believe Nintendo did this. This is Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime signing out.